We are back for you French toast monster. <laughs> there is some French toast somewhere underneath that. that I think it's this little piece right yeah. here. <laughs> but we are back to get this. The other day we saw this place and we're like, we're gonna come back and get this French toast. And today is that day. Oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> this was a long wait, but it was well worth oh, the wait. Oh my gosh, Angel. I think we should have ordered one. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> but like you say, Chris, it's mostly uh, fruit here. <laughs> That is really crazy. So we actually got to choose our sauce. So I got pineapple and I apparently I got mixed. And Crystal just got two mixed over there. But oh my gosh, guys. They were chopping them up right now. That's what took the longest, I think, was chopping up each individual thing. We have grapefruit, kiwi, orange, strawberry, blueberry, kiwi, pineapple, banana. And somewhere inside there, there is some French toast. Trust me. Is that butter? Yeah, no way. So. You have to taste that, Chris. There's okay. no way that's butter. Oh, yeah, that is butter. Oh, that is a ton of butter. Wait, ice cream. <laughs> it's ice cream. It looks just like butter. Oh, I was about to say that's a ton of butter. I was about to say, yes, jackpot. <laughs> but anyway, guys, we're going to spend about three hours eating this, and then we're going to go do the rest of our day. I don't feel so good, guys. <laughs> but I was able to finish the food. <laughs> Crystal has eaten the most important part, all of the fruits. Like, look at her plate. There's, oh, like, no color left. <laughs> Are you okay, Chris? I feel like Matilda and the chocolate cake cake. Oh, yeah, the kid that had to eat the blood, sweat, and tears cake. Yeah, I remember. That's how I feel, too. But, oh, yeah. I am. I think I'm good for the day now. Oh, cool. What is this? Do we got to put money in it or something? No. Oh, so just look at Oh, I thought it was actually to put something into it. <laughs> oh, we just got off the, uh, the train here. We're officially in Kobe. Yeah, because today we're going to be in Kobe. Definitely going to be getting us some meats. Yeah, all the good meat. juicy meats. But yeah, I thought this was something that we could do something like interactive. But I guess it's just something to show. This is a really cool vending machine, guys. You know, if we had somewhere to cook this meat, we would, get it. We would totally get something out of this. It's so weird that they put such an expensive cut of meat into yes. the vending machine. Well, see, this one's only 2000 Well, maybe it's really small now. But this one's 10000 yeah, it probably does say how many grams of each mm -hmm. one you're getting. But yeah, this one's only a thousand. Oh. But yeah, we don't have anywhere to cook this, so there's no point <laughs> in us buying it, honestly. But we had to show it because this thing is crazy weird. Every time we come across one of these mystery gotchas, <laughs> we have to get one. This one just yes. says, lucky, lucky. Yes. It's only 200 coins, so let's see if we can get something. Lucky, lucky. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Hopefully we get one that we can find here at the same shop. Yeah. And it costs like four or five hundred. I hope it's a really good one. Come on. Are we mm. lucky, lucky? Or are Ooh, we? what is this? Oh, oh that's so lucky, no. lucky. Oh no. Oh, it's a little. Oh bad, no. But it's not even cute. It's, I think. It's food. We might be unlucky, <laughs> unlucky. Oh, check it out. They actually do have it yes, here. It's this one right and here. we got lucky, lucky because look, it's actually a 300 <laughs> one. Although I wouldn't have spent 300 on this. And it's probably why it ended up in that wood. Now Crystal wants to see if she's lucky, lucky. Although technically she played the last one too. You spend but it for me no, too? this one's for you, Chris. All right. All right, so I was lucky, lucky, I guess, kind of. Come on, just don't be the same thing. Oh, it's the same kind of ball, though. It's something different. Yes, different. What is this? Demon Slayer. I don't know what it is. I'm just guessing because it, it looks like, like a Demon Slayer. Pouch. It oh, does look like oh Demon no, Slayer. oh no, what is oh no. Dang, it's Demon Slayer. At least we know what this yeah, is. Yeah, so this one for sure is at least 300. Mm -hmm. All right, so it has Tanjiro on it. Now we have to look <laughs> to see if we can find it in the same area. Oh darn! We looked through this whole store, can't find it. No. Although I think this is better than the other one, honestly. Yeah, I, I would much rather have won that than the one I got. <laughs> oh, look at this. We found a Kirby gotcha that we haven't seen yet. Mm -hmm. Crystal's thinking these are pins of some kind? That's what I think they are. Which one do you want? I want this one. The pink one? Yeah, like a rose gold. Oh, I'll take, hey, if we're only taking one that's the individual one, I'll take this one down here because it looks like it's actually black. It looks like it's kind of shy or punching somebody. I can't mm -hmm. really tell. There is only one left in there, guys. No, watch. It should say sold out in a second. Oh, it is. It is. <gasps> it is a pin. Oh, my God. Oh, it is. See, oh, I cannot believe you this. didn't get the one you wanted, but it's that's, so amazing. that is really cool. So you actually got this one up here. That's the one she got. Man, if this thing wasn't sold out, we would be getting we, Yeah, we're gonna have to keep an eye out for this because I want to get more of these. But yeah, this thing looks so cool. So we have just been walking around all day, checking out arcades, looking at different shops. Crystal's been doing all kinds of shopping <laughs> like crazy. But now it is time for the reason why we came here for the Kobe beef. Yay. And we're going to this place called Moria Sanomiaten. I hope I said that right. Or Royal Moria. Yeah. <laughs> and these dinner prices are looking like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to get yet, but we are going to be getting some Kobe beef A5, which is supposed to be the best, I believe. Oh. 
It's gonna be an expensive meal, but we didn't come here for nothing. We're gonna enjoy this meal. And if we don't enjoy it, there's actually Ichiran right here. <laughs> so we can always go get that afterward. Oh, what an experience this is. Watch this guy's automatic fancy door. <gasps> yes, please. Oh my gosh, this is an experience. Apparently, apparently you need reservations, but right now it's not a busy time, so you don't need it. <laughs> we are definitely making memories here, guys. Do you, do you see what we're looking at? <laughs> what the heck, this is crazy. Like, we have like a personal chef that's gonna be cooking for us, apparently. He's making our special plates. Yeah, this is like the fanciest thing ever this is, uh, that we've, we've ever, ever eaten. Yeah, exactly. so I think we're gonna get the Kobe B finest ribeye steak, the A5. I think we're gonna get the small one because we don't really know how much 150 grams is in, in meat. Crystal says about five or six ounces, mm -hmm. so I don't know. I mean, I don't eat steak, so I'm gonna be, anything here is gonna <laughs> just surprise me. And we're also gonna get the Kobe beef finest sirloin because they showed us over here mm -hmm. and it shows that these are the two that like are supposed to be the best, I love right? That they have this chart. Yeah, and then they have like the marbling, how much marbling yeah. it's gonna have, how soft the meat is. Yeah, oh, this one's really soft, but wow. we're here for all that marbling, guys. So we're gonna be getting those two. And it looks like it includes like grilled vegetables as well, so that should be good. I didn't realize when Crystal said we're coming to this place that it was a place like this. I'm always up for new experiences, guys. That looks good. Yes. He actually has the garlic going over there on the on the griddle. Yeah, we have our salt, our pepper, our Japanese wasabi. Yes. All our vegetables oh, here. Oh my goodness, it's amazing. We have the steak. Oh, so much marbling. <laughs> oh, wow, look at this. I guess first we have an appetizer, which is roast beef. This is a green onion sauce. And I think she said seaweed sauce. Did I hear that right? I think so. Actually, I don't know what she said there. But this thing is so fancy. Crystal has the prettiest plate I've ever seen in my life. I hear the meat. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, it's time to cook the steak. I actually have the vegetables going already. Yay. We have some mushrooms there and some, uh, what was that thing? The green thing? Um, <laughs> I actually don't know. <laughs> oh, look, it's like a whole experience being here, guys. Absolutely. Time to finally try it. That's the sirloin right there. Okay, so first try only with the salt here. Mm, there's a lot of salt on there. <laughs> All right, let's see Crystal's reaction. This is the juiciest thing you've ever had in your life. <laughs> She's really speechless. She's speechless. Oh my goodness. It's delicious. Don't get a ton of salt like I did. <laughs> okay, here we go. Mm. It's gonna be so heavenly. But I know it's like that's the word melting. It's like butter. Everything so far has been absolutely amazing. Like I don't even know how to explain how amazing this is. It's so soft, so tender, so delicious. I just like to dip it a little bit in everything. Oh, I actually get some wasabi on my. Oh my, that's a lot of wasabi. I'm gonna regret this. I know I'm gonna regret it, or I'm gonna extra enjoy it. Mm. <laughs> So we're down to the grand finale, guys. Mm -hmm. He recommends that we get this one just rare. Mm -hmm. We've never actually eaten rare uh, steak before because the rest we had medium, but then we're like, let's do medium rare because that's what he recommended originally. But you know, we're a little, a little hesitant, mm -hmm. but we're going to try rare on this one because that's what he recommends. He's a chef, he's a professional. Right, like it's so good. He actually mm -hmm. put some of the fat in our um, mm -hmm. soy sauce with lemon juice. Oh, that's so good. Come on, Chris. Alright, so I'm gonna put some wasabi on here. Oh, nice little scooping. Mm -hmm. That's on the bottom of it. And then a little bit of salt. Bit of salt. And time for the biggest, <laughs> best reaction ever. That's a big piece of meat, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I bet this one's extra melty. Mm -hmm. Because this is the rare piece, guys. So, mm -hmm. what, how would you ex describe it? It's very melty. Okay. I mean, I would get it like this again. It's yeah? so delicious. Oh, so you're using the fat into the um, beef thing. Beef sprouts, yes. I forgot what they're called and I love them. <laughs> yeah, I've been enjoying this over here, Chris. Yeah. Look, I actually made the perfect little thing here. I have the garlic, the wasabi, and I dipped it in salt. I'm about to eat that. Yeah, I've never been a steak person, mm -hmm. but this... Yes, definitely. <laughs> it's so good. Oh. And then it was really good. So, yep, he's already cleaned up, headed to another person. We had our own private chef. We want him to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Unlimited meats, please. <laughs> well, guys, that was a great experience. Yes, oh my gosh, it was, it was really so good. fun. It was, the food was 
delicious. It was really good. I'm actually full. Yay. At least for now. I don't know how long it lasts. But it was so good. Oh my gosh. I don't even know how to explain like how heavenly that food was. Yeah. It was so great. The vegetables were... Those, those were okay. I'm not a big vegetable person. I'm a huge those vegetable good. person. Yeah, yeah Crystal <laughs> likes uh, vegetables of all, all kinds. Yeah. Like I said earlier, I am not a steak person, but that was but really good. Know. Like that experience was like was everything. It like was it was a really one. and like it was cool because we didn't have a reservation mm -hmm. and we went in there, you know, just a walk in. Yeah. And we had the whole place to ourselves for a little bit, mm -hmm. and then some other walk ins came in after us. But it was like it was like we were getting catered to. I know. We had, like, I don't know if that's normal for that chef. kind of thing. I know he was talking to us and everything. He was turning the, each garlic oh, so yeah, when he delicately. Them. Yeah, it was insane. It was cool. We definitely are gonna come back. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll do this again when we come back yeah. to Japan because it was so awesome. And the chef said, when you come back to Japan, yeah. do it again. Yeah, is what he said basically. He, he says, did so you like it? Pleasant. He did again. Yeah, he was really nice. It was, it was just a great experience. Mm -hmm. I can't believe we did that. I know. And I can't wait until we do it again. <laughs> Crystal, why are you crying? No. <laughs> Crystal was just crying, guys. No, I don't understand. No, this girl cried over everything. No, <laughs> I can see it. I can see it. <laughs> oh, check this out. Right by that restaurant we just ate at, they have a uh, shrine here. I looked it up because we didn't even know this was here, and apparently it's one of the oldest uh, Shinto shrines here in Japan. That is a huge Tori gate, though. It's always so interesting to see these shrines in the middle of, like, right in the middle of a city. Like, you see there's high rises over there, some apartment condos, and then right here in the middle, it's like thrown back in time and it has a shrine. So now it is boba time! We got gong It says thank you in English on it. Oh yeah, it does! I, guess I, know it's worse. I don't know how they could tell. <laughs> yeah, it's all funny. Yeah, this is really good. I actually got a smoothie with boba. Yes, what flavor is it? Uh, mango. Mango. Mine is peach tea, which is actually in season right yeah, now. Really new. That drink actually just came out a few days ago. Yeah, it is. You can see the peach pulp, the boba. It is so How is it? it's good. good. It's very good. Have you had any of the pulp yet? Yes, I have. I've been chewing on it. I love it. The boba balls are like perfect, guys. Well, I'll check out the uh, mountains in the distance with the uh, rain clouds. Or I guess it could just be fog, but it looks like rain clouds from over here. It looks super That's cool. Really cool. I wish I could be over there though in the Misty Mountain area. Yeah, Although it's probably it's so super. It's gonna be so humid. Yeah, it's probably so humid that I would regret even thinking about going up there. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So we had first dessert, but we haven't had second dessert. Yay, it's like I got that. Mr. Donut Donut. Mr. Donut! Mm. Yum, that one looks really good. It has part chocolate on it. Mm -hmm. Oh, it has all cream in the middle. Yeah, it's had French something. Oh, yum. It's not sweet enough. It's not sweet enough. No. Oh man. Yeah, I need to get another one. You only got one angel? Mm -hmm. uh, you want one? No, that's okay. I didn't want one. Crystal's found her dessert. She's yeah. getting a macaron. Oh, I love these macarons. Super so thick cool. macarons and very decadent. I think she's getting the creme brulee. Is that what you said? No, I'm going to try some candy. Oh, this one. Yay. Oh, look at the strawberry one though. Those things are so thick. It's more like a uh, macaron sandwich. Wow, that thing is huge. It's gorgeous. Dang, it's so big. Like, if that was a normal macaron, that's probably three tall. <laughs> oh my goodness. Right, what if it actually is going to taste like uh, cotton candy yes, or not? I'm interested to find out. All right, you're going to have to like nibble on it because it's so big. <laughs> There's like no way to get the whole thing. <laughs> wow, did you get any of the cream in there? No, not yet. I, I wonder. Got the ears. So, is it the macaron that's going to taste like the yeah. cotton candy or is it the cream? I, I, did, I actually didn't have um, any of one Crystal had. She had one before, which was creme brulee. How is it? Is it really strong? Mm -hmm. How sweet is it? Mm. Not super sweet, but sweet enough for me at least. Angel, do you want to try it? It's just like one candy. No, I'm okay. I already oh, had my so donut. Good. Well, guys, we are back at the hotel. Calling it an early night. I think it's like 10. So tired. 10 yeah, we did a lot of walking today. Mm -hmm. We got we went to actually a lot of arcades in Kobe. Wasn't expecting that. Mm -hmm. The food was crazy. Magnificent. Yeah, we definitely have to do that again when we come Yay. back. It was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. But we hope you guys enjoyed what we did record. I don't think we recorded much today, but <laughs> that's okay. That's how it always happens. But we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye. Next time on Angel and Chris, the time has finally come when we have to leave Japan, but you won't believe what happened. Mm -hmm.